So let's try to graph the set of pairs x, y, so satisfying 2x plus y greater than or equal to 4, 2x minus 3y less than or equal to 6, x and y are both non-negative. How, how do you handle this? First of all, there are a couple of easy inequalities. If you look at the last two, x greater than 0, y greater than 0, those are relatively easy to draw. So we'll work with those first. Uh, x greater than 0 means that uh, all the points with x value greater than 0, and so they are all the points that are, they are all the points that are on the right of the y-axis, right? So that's x greater than or equal to 0. Now what about y greater than 0? Is everything on or above the x-axis? And that's y greater than or equal to 0. So immediately we know that we are looking at points on the first quadrant right here. Now what about these two other inequalities? 2x plus y greater than 4 and 2x minus 3y less than 6. Well, let's focus on something that we know how to do. For example, if we look at the equation instead of inequality, 2x plus y equal to 4, that defines a line. And drawing a line is uh, not that difficult. We just need to find two points in the line. Uh, the line is uh, through those two points. So if I ask you instead to draw 2x plus y equal to 4, well, what does that look like? Well, we can find two points by looking at where they intersect the axes. For example, if we set y equal to 0, then we'll know where the line intersects on the x-axis. So when y is 0, x must be 2. Remember we are looking at the, we are trying to draw the line 2x plus y equal to 4. So when y is 0, x is 2. And when x is 0, y is 4. So immediately we know that the line uh, defined by 2x plus y equal to 4 has to go through the two points, 2, 0 and 0, 4. All right. So 2, 0 is right here, and 0, 4 is right there. So we just need to draw a line through these two points. Let me just uh, move this over. So it does cross the line, two points. Now, this is the line for 2x plus y equal to 4, but we want 2x plus y greater than equal to 4. So not just points on the line, but points that are somehow, you know, on the side of the line that gives 2x plus y greater than equal to 4. So how do we figure that out? One trick is to test a point. All right, if we look at the origin, 0, 0, what well, is not uh, going to be on the side of the line that satisfies 2x plus y greater than 4 because if you plug in x0, 0, 0, y equals 0, you get 0. 0 is not greater than 4, it's less than 4. So the origin cannot be on the side defined by 2x plus y greater than 4. So that means everything else that is on the same side as the origin cannot be a point on the side defined by this inequality. And therefore, while we must have points over on this side of the line. Okay? Now by the same reasoning, we can draw 2x minus y less than or equal to 6. So let's first draw 2x minus 3y equal to 6. That's just a line. And when y is 0, x is 3. And when x is 0, y is minus 2. Alright, so we have to draw the line through my, uh, 0 minus 2 and 3, 0. Alright, and uh, it's going to look something like this. Okay, again, this is the line defined by 2x minus 3y equal to 6. But we want the points satisfying the inequality, 2x minus 3y less than 6. So again, we can use our trick. Let's see. Well, if we plug in 0, 0, what do we get? Well, we're 2 times 0 is 0, minus 3 times 0 is 0. So 0 is less than 6. So that means 0 is a point on the side defined by 2x minus 3y less than 6. So everything that is on the same side 
as origin with respect to this line will satisfy this inequality. And so uh, we can mark such points by these two arrows on this line. Now combining what we have drawn in, the set of points satisfying uh, all four inequalities is going to be given by this blue shaded region. And that's our answer.